Tailbone Disorders Introduction The tailbone is the small bone at the bottom of your backbone or spine. Many different disorders can affect the tailbone. Tailbone disorders can cause pain in the tailbone area. These disorders can also cause pain or numbness in the legs due to pressure on nerves in the tailbone area and a mass or growth you can see or feel. This program explains tailbone disorders. It covers symptoms of tailbone disorders and treatments for certain tailbone disorders. The tailbone. The spine protects the spinal cord and the nerves that go to different parts of the body. The spine is formed of solid bones called vertebrae. The vertebrae are separated by softer discs. These discs help cushion the vertebrae during movement. The tailbone is at the bottom of the backbone, or spine. The tailbone is also called the coccyx. It is made up of three to five small bones. These bones are fused together. The spine is formed of solid bones called vertebrae. Select true or false. Correct. The vertebrae are separated by softer discs. These discs help cushion the vertebrae during movement. General symptoms. Many tailbone disorders have similar symptoms. The main symptom is pain in the tailbone area. The pain may come and go. It may also be worse when sitting. Other common symptoms of tailbone disorders include pain or numbness in the legs, pain during bowel movements, redness and swelling near the tailbone, weakness in the legs. Some tailbone disorders may also cause a mass or growth you can feel or see, fever, foul-smelling drainage, pain during sex, problems controlling the bowel or bladder. Talk to your healthcare provider if you notice any of these symptoms or other changes. Finding a problem early makes treatment easier in most cases. John has pain in his tailbone area, especially when sitting. He also has some numbness and weakness in his legs. Should John contact his healthcare provider? Select yes or no. Correct. Pain in the tailbone area, numbness in the legs, and weakness in the legs may be signs of a problem. John should contact his health care provider. Coccidinia Coccidinia is pain around the area of the tailbone. Often, the cause is unknown. Some known causes of coccidinia include abnormal excessive movement of the tailbone, infection, tumor, or fracture of the tailbone, injury or trauma, such as from falls or childbirth. Sometimes coccidinia may be caused by prolonged sitting on a hard or narrow surface. Coccidinia usually goes away on its own within a few weeks or months, but there are steps you can take to treat tailbone pain in the meantime. To relieve tailbone pain, apply heat or ice to the affected area. Sit completely upright or lean forward while sitting down. Sit on a donut shaped pillow or cushion. Take over the counter pain relievers. If tailbone pain does not improve with time, you may need additional treatments such as physical therapy, medication, surgery.
A physical therapist might show you exercises to strengthen your abdomen and pelvic floor muscles. These exercises can help treat tailbone pain in some cases. Some medications can help relieve tailbone pain. These include certain antidepressants or anti-epileptic medications. An injection of a local anesthetic into the tailbone may also relieve pain for a few weeks. Rarely, tailbone pain may be treated with a surgery to remove the coccyx. This treatment may be an option when all other treatments fail. Coccydinia is pain around the area of the tailbone. Select true or false. Correct. Often the cause of pain is unknown. Pilonidal cyst. A pilonidal cyst is an abnormal pocket of skin that forms near the tailbone. It often forms above the crease of the buttocks. The cyst often contains skin debris or waste as well as hair. If the cyst becomes infected, it may contain pus. If a pilonidal cyst becomes infected, it is called a pilonidal abscess. It can be painful. Anyone can get a pilonidal cyst, but they are more common in young men. They frequently happen between puberty and age 40. Some people are at an increased risk of having a pilonidal cyst. This includes people who are overweight or obese, have thick, stiff body hair, sit for long periods of time, such as truck drivers. It is not known for sure what causes pilonidal cysts, but there are many possible causes, including loose hairs and pressure against the skin, skin stretching and ruptured hair follicles, trauma to the tailbone area. Other possible risk factors for pilonidal cysts are shape of the area above the buttocks, problems in the womb before birth, family history of pilonidal cysts, History of blocked hair follicles or skin problems. Treatment is needed if a pilonidal cyst becomes infected. The first line of treatment is often draining the cyst. Any hair follicles in the cyst may also be removed. After a cyst is drained, sometimes dead skin and tissue are removed. This improves the rate of healing. Pilonidal cysts often happen again after treatment. If this is the case, further surgical treatment may be needed. Most cases of pilonidal cysts require removal with surgical treatment. During surgery, the entire cyst is removed to help prevent the cyst from reforming. In some cases, the wound is closed right away after surgery. In other cases, the wound may be left open so it can heal from the inside out. This can help reduce the risk of recurring cysts. In some cases, surgery may involve removing a small amount of tissue to make the shape of the area above the buttocks flatter. This is called a cleft lift or modified keridakis procedure. It is a type of flap surgery. In flap surgeries, a tissue flap from the buttocks is used to reshape the area. Making the area above the buttocks flatter reduces bacterial growth and stops loose hairs from collecting and puncturing the skin. Are pilonidal cysts always caused by loose hair penetrating the skin? Select yes or no. Correct. There are many possible causes for pilonidal cysts. It is not known for sure what causes these types of cysts to form. Chordoma
A chordoma is a rare tumor that usually happens in the spine, in the tailbone, or at the base of the skull. It is a cancerous tumor that grows fairly slowly, but it can spread to other organs, such as the lungs. A chordoma is a type of bone cancer. It represents only about 1% of all cancerous bone tumors. Cancer begins in your cells, which are the building blocks of your body. Normally, your body forms new cells as you need them by replacing old cells that die. Sometimes this process goes wrong and a tumor forms. If a tumor is cancerous, cells from the tumor can invade other tissues throughout the body. Cancer cells can spread to different parts of the body through blood vessels and lymph channels. Most patients with chordomas are between 40 and 70 years of age. Sometimes this tumor can happen in younger patients. The cause of chordomas is unknown. Chordomas are not inherited. Surgery in combination with radiation therapy is often used to treat chordomas. Chordomas are cancerous tumors. Select true or false. Correct. A chordoma is a rare tumor that usually happens in the spine, in the tailbone, or at the base of the skull. It is a cancerous tumor that grows fairly slowly, but it can spread to other organs such as the lungs. Summary The tailbone is the small bone at the bottom of your backbone or spine. Many different disorders can affect the tailbone, including coccidinia, pilonidal cyst, chordoma, Tailbone disorders can cause pain in the tailbone area. These disorders can also cause pain or numbness in the legs due to pressure on nerves in the tailbone area and a mass or growth you can see or feel. Treatment for tailbone disorders depends on the cause. Treatment may include physical therapy, medication, surgery, other medical procedures. Talk to your healthcare provider if you notice any symptoms of tailbone disorders or other changes. Finding a problem early makes treatment easier in most cases. You should understand that this health education video 1. Includes general information and not specific medical advice. 2. It shows graphics and series of pictures and dialogues that have been simplified for better understanding. If you have any questions, you will check with your doctor or healthcare provider.